how do we represent the fall on a roof in ARCHICAD? Now we'll do this in a few different ways and that depends on which view we're looking at. So when we're doing a roof plan, I need to explain which direction the roof falls and I need to explain what the pitch of that fall or the gradient of that fall is or the angle of that fall is. I also need to explain the roof material but that's a separate issue which we've looked at before. So in terms of describing the fall direction, of course our object, our element, our roof, we drew and we explained which direction it is. And so there's a little dash, a little line, which shows which direction our roof is defined by. Uh, and it's showing that that's up. But this doesn't print. And so we need to somehow explain this with a diagram or with something two-dimensional. So what I'm going to do here, make sure I'm using the right layer. I'm going to put this on overlay roof because I'm on the roof plan. I want to make this a solid line. I want to make this a relatively thick line. So I could use pen three or four. And I want to change from my single line to one that has an arrow. And I want to make sure that the arrow is similarly thick. And I'll draw it. I need to make sure I'm at the right scale. So I'm drawing this at one to 50. So when I draw my line, in this case, I drew it from the bottom up because that was the option that I chose. If I chose this option, it would be back to front. So I want to draw a line, and if I turn true line weight on, we can see that that line's pretty thick. Now, the reason why I want it to be thick is if, if I'm showing this roof properly, I'm going to be showing that it has a, a tile. So once I show that tile properly, let's go into the settings and quickly adjust that. If I go to cover fill, I don't just want to see a color like this. I probably want to show it as a tile. So if I type in tile, roof tile, I'm probably going to show something like this. And I'll, I'll probably use a like a dark gray. And then I might use a light orange underneath to represent the tile. So that's that looks pretty good. That's pretty representative of what I'm trying to see. And we can see that that line still represents well in terms of showing the fill. Now, how does my roof fall? The roof is falling, of course, towards the gutter. I'm just going to do one and then I'll repeat these. How do I now show what pitch it is? If I go into the settings of my roof, we can see it's 31 degrees. So again, Archicad has this information. This is what BIM is about, a building information model. But how do I explain that? Now, I could just get text and type in 31 degrees, but that wouldn't be very smart. That wouldn't be using that information. So instead, I can go to my label tool and I can click and we can see that the current option is the elevation label tool, which isn't really helpful for what we want. So let's select the label, we'll go into the settings, and I need to choose the right type. In this case, I just want to use auto text. I don't really want my pointer. I could add a box around the outside if I felt that it was necessary. And I could add a, f uh, a frame around the outside if I thought it was necessary. In this case, I want to make the, the opaque nature of it white, just so it's really easy to read. And, and I could have a frame around it. So let's click on the roof now. So it's important that I'm clicking on the roof and we can see that the roof is blue, which means it's selected. So when I click, it's automatically doing that. Now, how did it automatically do that? So it's automatically told me uh, my roof is called roof 12 and the fall is 31 degrees. So let's click on this and see what it is. So we see that roof is gray. What does that mean? It's an auto text fall and then it has a number. So let's go into the settings of this. What's this about? Let's delete all this information and start again. Auto text, element ID. So if I click element ID, that's gonna call it roof 12. If I click, if, sorry, if I type roof pitch, double click, it's gonna tell me 31 degrees. So this is the auto text that I had. And then all I was doing was adding in some text called fall, pressing enter. Now I don't really want this to be called roof 12. What should this be? I'll select all of these in one go. If I go into the setting, I'm trying to describe the materiality. So in this case, it's terracotta roof tile, timber frame roof. 
So this is just the acronym that I'm using here to explain this. And then I have a legend which explains what TRT and TFR stand for. So again, I'm automating this. Now the element ID is not as automated as some other methods, but I found that it's easiest way of doing what I'm doing. Now what I can do is select both of these and go mirror a copy and put them on the other side. What's the problem with that? This one is still linked to this roof. So if I want to do this properly, I should delete that and replace it so it's linked to this roof panel. And that's effectively how we can do the annotation of the roof fall in plan. Let's have a look at how to do that in section. Let's pick up the settings of this just so it makes sense. Go into the settings, open. Now if I grab that same label, hover over this roof, click, I can place this and this is again linked. So that's one way that I can do that. What's the problem with this? It's not showing me what it's connected to. So I could turn on my pointer. and I could click that there and I could move it around and I could switch orientation if I wanted to or, or move it over this side if that made it a little bit nicer to read. So I can, I can do that. I could put it on an angle if that's helpful as well. Now the, the, the fall 31 degrees is accurate. Remember that's, that's bimmed, that's good. Another way that I can do that is by using a reference plane. So if I was to have a line here that was connected to the roof, What I'm really trying to determine is what's the relationship between here and here. So if I was to get my angle, I could click, click. Now it's not sure what I'm trying to do because there's multiple elements. Now if I have two lines, I could move that away as a diagram. I could click, click click and it's going to tell me 31 degrees. So this is a nice, precise, auto dimension way of representing this. But the problem is it's based on a line. So if I was to change this roof, if I was to change this down to 30 degrees, for instance, I may not be able to tell that this roof and this line are no longer related. So I have to be a little bit careful with how I do this. This is a better diagram in terms of an annotation. It's clear as to what I'm talking about, but this is a little bit better in terms of its reliability based on the BIM model. Because if I change this, <laughs> it's, it's the wrong one of course, if I change this one, it's going to automatically adjust to show us 30 degrees. So it's up to you, uh, just be aware of how each of these work, whether you're going to use an annotation like this or a dimension like that.